Ashe, everyone. Good morning. Today is May 20th, 2023. It is exactly something after six o'clock in the morning. I feel really guided to come and give you guys this message this morning. I want to touch base on something quickly before I give you guys a reading for the day. So give me a minute. I'm just straightening my area here so I can jump right into the messages. <coughs> Okay, so I want to cleanse the energy in the room and over the cards before I dive right into the messages and before I talk to you guys a little bit about some researching I did, uh, some energy I picked up on, and <clears throat> yeah. I also want to let you guys know, like, when I come forward and I talk to you guys about some of the things that you see me reading about, like I said in previous readings, guys, I don't just say these things just to say, oh, I found out something today. Let me go on my channel and talk about it. No, I'm experiencing this and I don't know what to call it until I hear someone say something similar to what I'm feeling or what I'm going through. And then I'll go and I'll investigate and read up on it. And then I'll come and I'll let my collective know because I know I'm not the only one that could possibly be going through these things. And I know that sometimes when I'm picking up on this energy, it's not for me. It's for my collective because I am a healer. I am a reader. Okay. So let's move forward. Now that I can move the energy over the cards and in the room. So. I want to talk to you guys today about monitoring spirits. So basically, guys, monitoring spirits is witchcraft. Witchcraft is, it's an attack that manipulates its victim to disrupt their own life by making victims miss blessings, making victims vulnerable to ill luck, failure, and frustration monitoring spirits an example of the feeling that victims experience is that of a person that has a rope tied to one of their legs and anytime victims make a move the rope is pulled and the victims fall down and is unable to progress Better also explained like a situation of remote control of the victim's life. Now, one way that I did read about guys, as far as like destroying monitoring spirits is vicious prayer, heavy prayer. Okay, guys, you have to want this to stop happening to your life. You have to understand that this is happening to you. You have to accept it and then you have to basically want change for yourself for your life but yeah so how i pick up on this energy is i feel like you know when someone walks up behind you you know that someone is there you can like feel that someone is walking up behind you you can feel that someone is there if you are in a room alone or in your home alone and you're having this feeling that is a monitoring spirit. Like, you know, someone is not there. You you know, like, you can go out and look and you're like, no one's here. But I keep having this feeling. It's because you're being monitored by a spirit. A spirit that is evil, demonic, low vibrational. And that's the energy that this spirit surrounds you in. This could be happening to you or someone that, that you know. This could be happening to your person. Okay, guys? So I just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about that. It's basically witchcraft, rich crap. That's for sure. All right, guys. So 
Yeah, um, I have a channeled song here, and it is Kim Petras featuring Nicki Minaj alone. And that song came out a couple weeks ago, or maybe like last month, I want to say. Maybe like the ending of last month. I didn't really write that down. But you guys can definitely go listen to the song and figure out like when it was published and everything else. But those were the, the, some of the messages that I wanted to share with you guys today before we jump into your reading, okay? This is going to be a collective reading for all signs. Thank you all so much for the love and support. Welcome to all of my new subscribers, returning subscribers, and cross-watchers, okay? So I feel like along with this monitoring spirit, we've been talking about shapeshifters. There is someone that definitely is a shapeshifter in the energy guys this person could definitely um they don't have to be able to be able to jump from body to body that's just one of the the many examples of what a shapeshifter can do they can also shapeshift into animals but away from that this is someone that has many different personalities okay so let's just keep that in mind as well, too. So someone that is very evil, low vibrational, demonic that we are speaking about. Okay, so I'm going to pull from my deck first, my collective. Thank you all so much for the love and support. Hope this reading is reaching you guys with the energy, good vibes, good health. If you do need a personal, please feel free to email me. My email is in the description box on any video below. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, of course. Keep in mind that these are general readings. It will not resonate with everyone. Let's get the messages for my collective. What does the collective need to know? So we have eviction, miscarriage, 27, 29, and we have the initial T, first, middle, or last. So someone with the initial T could want you guys to get an eviction, have a miscarriage, you and your person could be of the age of 27 and 29. Or this is you and you have the initial T and you have one of these ages as well too. Um, so summertime is very significant. The color yellow, the color pink could be significant as well too. All right, guys, we have nothing at the bottom of the deck. So let's just move forward. I'm going to pull some hidden truth messages at this time, my loves. Just to get a feel for the energy before we go into tarot. But yeah, maybe this person is wishing and hoping and trying to manifest of lies, gossip, envy, and jealousy. Everything low vibrational to try to get you guys to get evicted by the summertime. Or your favorite color is yellow or pink. Some messages here for the collective. We have a hope that you can forgive me one day. So someone in this energy definitely wants you guys' forgiveness. I can't stop thinking about you. Someone in this energy cannot stop thinking about another. I want to feel that way again. The timing just wasn't right for us. So I feel like this is two different energies here, okay? There's a karmic in this energy or someone that is not in a relationship with another person because with that, I want to feel that way again. I can't stop thinking about you. That I'm getting another person that, with that energy, but I hope that you can forgive me one day and the timing just wasn't right for us. That lets me know that that is someone that is trying to plead with another person. So I feel like there's basically two different energies here two different things going on in this energy and with this eviction and all of this negative energy here from my deck that we picked up on 
that's definitely correct so we're gonna pull some tarot the first card i do see is the lovers upright and on the other side i do see the magician so like i said someone is definitely doing it spell work dibbling and dabbling in spell work someone is also trying to manifest off of everything low vibrational lies gossip and slander to disrupt a soulmate connection a lover situation a situation that's being divinely guided okay because this person can't stop thinking about someone in that soul contract with you or this is you doing this to someone else and um they want to feel that way again this could be an ex uh a third party you know this is definitely someone that is trying to gain control of someone's mind possibly doing mind magic as well too there's a lot of different things here. Yeah, definitely want someone to be in the King of Cups reverse. So this is definitely about a masculine. They, they could be trying to emasculate this masculine. They could be trying to make this masculine very feminine, very weak. Make this person very immature and commit adultery. Make this person make a decision to be this way. Make this person feel like they made the wrong decision in trying to be... The King of Cups upright. What's <clears throat> the messages here for my Sagittarius? I'm sorry. <laughs> for my collective. The energy is hot and heavy with Sagittarius. And as you guys know, I am a Sagittarius. So sometimes I do make that mistake. So, bear with me as we shuffle the cards and pick up on the collective's energy. What's the messages here? For my collective. Spirit. 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 What is the message? What does my collective energy need to know? I also feel like, guys, some of you could possibly know you are being monitored and you are down with it in a way or you know that you can do something to change this and you're not willing to. Like, I feel like some of you guys don't want change, but then again, you are telling someone you want change or trying to come off like you want to change or at some point you will. Okay, somebody, some of you probably are very also confused as to why your life is up and down or your relationship is up and down or why you can't do something in your relationship. Why can't you be the king of cups upright for your person? Why can't you see things through fully? It's because you have a monitoring spirit around you that is affecting your life and your relationship in a tremendous way. It's definitely detrimental to your relationship. Okay, so. What's the messages here for, for the color? So, someone that likes to watch, <laughs> there we go. That's that monitoring spirit. Okay, Page of Wands. We all know that Page of Wands represents watching energy, stalker energy. Someone that likes to watch you guys. It's throwing a tantrum right now and screaming right now because whatever they're seeing, they don't like, okay? They could also be begging and pleading someone, but they what, what they're seeing is this, a ten of cups. They're seeing a happy family. They're, they're seeing joy, okay? They're seeing love. You and someone that have two children in a marriage. Or, you know, that's just there's just two children in your future, okay? But someone is really, really watching you guys, stalking you guys, and they're seeing this. Okay, we have the Knight of Pentacles, and we have the Star Reverse. So, the masculine in your life, yeah, this is happening to this person. This person is who this monitoring stalker energy is for. This person could be a Taurus. They can have Taurus on their birth chart. They can also just be someone that is very hardworking, loyal, faithful, 
someone that is trying to build themselves at this time, okay? So this person could want healing because we have the star here reverse. This monitoring spirit knows that this person wants healing, okay? And I feel like it's a family member because with the Ten of Cups here, this person is so, they're so, this Page of Wands energy is so like, it's so strong right now. Like somebody is like, oh my God, like, if this person has a happy family, that means that they can heal past traumas and wounds that I caused them. I could have possibly caused them, you know, and they don't want this person to heal in any way, shape or form. We have to start reverse. They don't want this man, this man to heal at all. Now, this could be a feminine that's in masculine energy. Just apply the rose how they fit. We have the Knight of Cups reverse right behind that. With this Knight of Cups reverse, like I said before, you could, this man or you could want to be the Knight of Cups upright, but because this monitoring spirit is attached and latched on to you or to this person, they always end up going right back to being the Knight of Cups in the reverse. Always. This person could get on the right path, you know, be, you know, be on their merry way to give a love offer or just come correct or just be you know the person that they are trying to be and this monitoring spirit comes and knock this person completely off balance all the time all right guys like this is something that this person does all the time so and it's funny how like i said these two cars came out together so i know i'm definitely on track here we have the ten of swords yeah this monitoring spirit all they want to do is make sure that they cause destruction for this masculine's life or your life this is all this this monitoring spirit is here to do this is all they want to do they, they could be failing miserably at this right now um, because the will of fortune is here, the tables could be turning on a situation, but this person is definitely, definitely, that's, that's all they, they want to do. They want to crash and burn whatever this person tries to start, whenever this person tries to heal, whenever this person tries to grow. Yeah. Page of wands reverse. Page of Wands reverse. We got the Six of Swords that popped out. Click on that Page of Wands reverse. Yeah, a Nine of Pentacles reverse. This is someone that is just very low vibrational. They they don't really. This Nine of Pentacles in the reverse is someone that they don't really take good care of themselves because they're always so far gone in this person's energy. This Nine of Pentacles energy. They're always so far gone in this person's business their energy their life as a monitoring spirit as a shapeshifter they don't have any time to take care of themselves okay this is someone that is not ambitious this is someone that um they're not working on themselves at all that's why they're the nine of pentacles in the reverse okay okay if i have nine of pentacles reverse with the page of one reverse Six of Swords uh, upright, and we have the Sun reverse. So, this Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Another reason why they're in this energy of screaming and yelling and upset and pissed off and throwing tantrums and throwing things and just completely losing it is because they see that this masculine is walking away from them in the Six of Swords energy. This is someone that is completely miserable to see this person walk away, sail away, especially if they're sailing away and they're in a family situation. Mm -mm. They are completely miserable. This is also someone that is being a happiness hater at this time. Ten of Cups upright. We have the Two of Cups, yeah. And right behind that, we have the Queen of Wands, Okay. So the Queen of Wands right behind that, I have the Knight of, Knight of Cups in the reverse. So as I said before, your person could definitely be this Queen of Wands upright or you're this Queen of Wands upright watching and this is happening to your masculine. With this energy, I feel like you guys are very confident, sitting on your throne, very beautiful, feeling very 
pleased with yourself in life. To, you know, and you're, you know, you, you good. Um, very ambitious as well too. The, but you're dealing with a Knight of Cups in reverse. You're dealing with someone that tries to gaslight you all the time, manipulate you all the time. You're dealing with someone that tries to basically um, tell you, oh, I'm going to do all of these things. And don't get me wrong. Like I said, this is someone that definitely could want to do these things, but they have this, this shapeshifter and this monitoring spirit attached to them that they cannot do it. Fully, like they can't fully step into this energy and be the Knight of Cups and stay that way. Like they can't unless they get rid of this shapeshifter and this monitoring spirit energy, this Nine of Pentacles and the reverse energy. Unless they get rid of this person that is trying to cloak themselves by jumping into different personalities and different bodies, they they can't. They can't. They can't. They can't. They won't be able to ever give you what you want. And I feel like you guys need to accept that. Accept that this person is in karmic energy and accept that this person is a karmic that you're dealing with. And they have a lot of a, a lot of work, a tremendous amount of work that they have to do on themselves in order to even be on your level. Because you guys are in the upright energy. This is someone that wants to be in this two of cups with you though. A healthy give and take situation. This is someone that wants to be in the ten of cups with you. Okay, um, a family dynamic, a happy one, a rainbow, joy, peace, love, ace of cups, genuine love. This is someone that wants this, but because they have this spirit attached to them that watches them, that is basically here to destroy all healing that they try to do and destroy all movement that they try to make in their life, they won't ever be able to move forward or to give you what you're looking for, or even able to heal. So if you, even if you leave this person, do know that this is somebody that will never grow, never heal. This is their life. The star reversed with the ten of swords of life. We have the seven of swords, ace of pentacles with the queen of swords. So here is the same monitoring spirit cloaking themselves again. This person likes to come in like they're just trying to check up on this masculine. Or feminine here, whoever this is, like, hey, how you doing? You good? You straight? This person likes to come off like they're someone that is a truth teller. Okay? It's definitely giving mother energy or godmother or, you know, this person just wants to steal. They, they can sense or they see by monitoring that there's some type of new beginning in money or new beginning in love. There's a new beginning, period. And this person is in the energy of stealing. They're not in the energy of really trying to check up on this person they just want to steal they want to make they want to knock someone off their path they want to distract some someone yeah okay for the sun reverse please okay. we have the world card so a cycle is closing out or it has closed out Okay, like I said, this nine of pentacles in the reverse and this queen of swords upright energy. They're the same two people. These these energies, they realize that this masculine is walking away or has walked away. This person wants to go to karma waters. They are walking away. They're leaving a situation. And this person realizes that a cycle has closed out. That's another reason why they're in this energy of screaming and throwing tantrums and yelling and throwing themselves around and doing the most because they realize that a cycle is over. Once the world card is here, it's done. Go find this world card up, right? Yeah, we have judgment. I feel like the divine has decided to step in in a situation and this person could definitely be going through karma right now. Go find judgment up, right? Please, please. We have the moon upright. Yeah, they're going through karma because they try to put illusions over this masculine who who wants to walk away, who is determined to walk away. This person knows that something's wrong. OK, like I said, for some of you, you can know for some of you, you're just accepting of it. I feel like for also some of you, you're you know, it's wrong, but you're still accepting of it because I feel like this is family members or a family member. OK, and it's like you're in this people pleasing energy or you were in this energy. But this person is definitely facing karma for all of the illusions here that they caused this masculine. That's why this moon upright. 
yeah, we have the devil reverse because this is someone that wants to grow. All right, and there, and this this person does not want this masculine to grow. They're trying to stunt this person's growth with death in reverse. Scorpio energy. This person have Scorpio in their birth chart. They're definitely trying to stunt this masculine's growth. Death reverse. Yeah, five of wands is here, and we have the page of swords reverse. Now we know that the page of swords reverse is. The energy of releasing the past and looking towards the future and moving forward. Every time that this masculine steps into this energy, this nine of pentacles in reverse, this ace, this um, queen of swords upright energy comes in and they start war. They start a fight with this person every time or they want to argue with this person or they send conflict magic towards this person. This is also someone very deceptive. They do this every time that this person tries to be in any positive energy, be in any energy where it's like they want to move forward. Anything positive, anything where it's like they're um, trying to just move forward. They, they, they want to argue and fight with this person or they want to do chaos magic or send chaos or stir the pot. Five of wands with the page of swords reversed. Yeah, we have the Ace of Wands reverse. They could have recently tried to do this, like I said before, when I saw that Ace of Wands, guys. They could have recently tried to do this, or you could have recently tried to do this, and it's not going to work, or it didn't work. Because like I said, I feel like this person is, has, is stalking at this time. They're in this monitoring energy at this time, and they saw something. They saw happiness. They saw peace. They saw, they, yeah, they saw this Ten of Cups. They saw this masculine being in this Knight of Pentacles energy. They see, they saw this when they were stalking and watching, and they are pissed off because that's not the energy that this masculine is supposed to be in. They're supposed to be in the Knight of Cups reverse energy. Knight of Cups reverse between the wands. That's all this Knight of Cups reverse. Knight of Cups reverse. We have the Five of Cups upright. Yeah. They want you to accept a Knight of Cups in the reverse as well, too. All right? I feel like someone here feels defeated. Who's in this Five of Cups upright? Who's in this Five of Cups upright? Spirit to me. Please define this Five of Cups upright. Can I find this, please? Five of Cups upright. Yeah. Knight of Wands reverse. And we have justice here. So it could be this masculine that's in this five of cups upright energy because they realize that they, they're they being manipulative and they're definitely being um, gaslighting-ish and they're definitely not finishing what they start. And it's not affecting you. And this person, because they're in this monitoring energy's cage, they have this person so brainwashed and so mind-fucked they feel like, you know, defeated when they don't see it through, when they don't see you affected, okay, by this. This person is also being a womanizer and a bully towards you guys. And they know that they're getting karma for this with justice coming out. So they could they could definitely be going through karma themselves and they're um they're basically feeling defeated. There's a tower here. Why is this tower here? To find this tower, please. I'm collective. Yeah, King of Cups in the reverse. So this person could have definitely tried to get involved with a third party recently. And this is definitely someone that you're married to or in some type of contract with collective. They ran into a tower moment, or they're gonna run into a tower moment once they do this. Like I said, this person is caged, they're tied up to this other energy so yeah this person could have also lied so this could have happened in the past and this person lied okay guys and said that they never did commit adultery on you when they were in this energy where they were committing adultery they were being immature they were being feminine they were being emasculated they you know they this person definitely was in this energy or they're in this energy right now the tower with the king of cups were right? and they feel defeated or ashamed for what they did to you because you didn't deserve that, okay? 
So you guys are in this tempered six of wands energy. You could definitely be getting noticed for your work, celebrated for your work. You're very tempered. You're very balanced at this time as well, too. And I also feel like when this person was out cheating on you and giving you all of this negative energy, sending all this negative energy your way, working for the devil, being the devil's advocate, um, you guys still stayed tempered and still stayed in the six of wands, still stayed working. We have the nine of cups here. Someone in this energy is extremely stubborn, okay? And it's this shapeshifter. It's this queen of swords upright energy. And also, this is someone, like I said, that is very deceptive. With this five of swords, this is someone that is extremely envious of you guys. Someone that is extremely jealous of you all. And also, they are extremely toxic and extremely... Um, what is the word? I just lost my train of thought here. <laughs> um, stubborn. This person is like sitting there like, I'm not going to stop. They, okay. They, 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 these people, they need a rise out of you. Okay. Collective five of swords. Five of swords. Okay. They're desperate. Okay. We have the full reverse. They... They want this person to be very reckless, as reckless as possible. That's why they're being stubborn, because they have to have this person be reckless. Away from really wanting a reaction out of you guys, they want this person to be as reckless as possible, collective. But we have the Eight of Swords. I still feel an energy coming from the both of you guys of pushing through, surviving, pers persevering forward. With all of the tactics and everything that has been going on and everything that has been happening to you guys, you're still moving forward. And so is this masculine. They're still holding on to you. They're still trying. Even though sometimes it's like you guys probably be looking at this person like, it's like, I don't even know you sometimes. I can't even understand you sometimes. Like sometimes you're so distant. Like, yeah. Eight of Swords reverse. Routine. For my collective energy. Eight of Swords reverse. Yeah, we have the four pinnacles reverse. It's like sometimes this person, you don't know this person. Someone is really trying to get this person to decide to release you guys, um, this home, this family situation, kids or not. This this other energy wants you, wants this person to just give up on a situation with you guys, completely give up. And they're very stubborn and they are not going to stop attacking and they're not going to stop Affecting this person's life. Two of Swords reverse. The Four of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, we have the Five of Pentacles and we have the Ten of Wands reverse. This is someone that basically, guys, they want this masculine and you guys to feel like you're in despair. OK, they also want you to lose a home and be homeless. Um, and I just feel like it, it. I don't feel like you guys are stressed out. I feel like it's stressing out this masculine. I feel like all of this energy is hitting this masculine. And I feel like it is because, like I said, they want this person to choose to release you. If this person doesn't choose to release you, they're going to keep attacking this person and stressing them out, weighing them down more and more until they choose to release you Four Pentacles. With the Ten of Wands reverse. Yeah. We have the Four of Swords reverse and we have the King of Swords reverse. They want this masculine to be a people pleaser, a beta male. And when this person is not in this energy, they attack this person some more and make them feel weighed down and stressed out because they're not in this King of Swords energy. Okay, with the Four of Swords here reverse, which is why this person decides to go ahead and be a beta male because they can't take it anymore because it, they, this person lays it down thick onto them okay guys um so that's why they come in and they change up towards you and they attack you and they be the devil's advocate and they work with this person okay this person this is probably why this person feels like the timing isn't right for you guys this is probably what this person wants to tell you and they want you to forgive them constantly forgive them because they want to basically Get rid of this person. They don't know how to. 
and they feel stuck. They feel sh they're stressed out. So it's like at some point they have to give in because it gets so hard. Yeah, we have the hermit here. Light is, yeah, it's coming out. This person is, expo is exposed. These secrets are exposed. The situation is exposed. Light is definitely being shined on the situation. Four swords reverse. Yeah, this these plans, these tactics are failing. Yep. So this person is like in this restless energy right now because they want this person to be in the Knight of Wands energy. They want this person to be traveling around searching for you guys' replacement. Okay, they want this person in player's energy. They want this person to cheat. Find that like they're supposed to be out finding finding their next victim, not doing anything else. But finding that their next victim to cheat with you, to cheat on you with. And when this per this person is spying and they see this Ten of Cups and they see this Nine of Pentacles and it's like, that's not what you're supposed to be doing. Okay. Something about bad memories is here with this Nine of Wands energy. I feel like this person suffered bad memories being in that energy. Um, and with the Strength card here, I feel like this is this, this, this shapeshifter energy. They're trying to control this person's mental tame this person control them and yeah and i don't want upright they have this person really stressed out just somebody here is really burdened they walk around with these burdens and this stress all the time all day every day and i don't want upright spirit team this energy is very sad and very low vibrational um so yeah this shapeshifter slash um monitoring spirit they're blocked at this time and they're trying to force their way in though and they're doing that by sending attacks 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 okay ace of pentacles upright yeah we have the three of cups so this person wants to celebrate or they're celebrating something here or maybe they celebrate it too soon because i see the three of pentacles reverse um so they could be celebrating as of now because like I said, they they could have recently found out something and they came up with, found out that, you know, you guys are in the Ten of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. And they came up with a way to cause destruction and to cause this person to be set back once again. They're, when they come in with this communication, there's something about this communication that they're going to come in with that's going to have them, you know, steal with the Seven of Swords. And then they're going to go ahead and celebrate Okay, because they don't, they don't, they fucked up in the beginning once again. So that's why they're in the celebrating energy. That's like, yeah, you know, we did that once again. Now, with the Three of Pentacles here in reverse, they're going to be arguing and fighting. If this is a group of people doing this, they're going to be arguing and fighting. If this is just this, this third party energy, them and this person going to be arguing and fighting. It's going to be like people turning on each other, fleeing, running from each other because. Two of Pentacles is here. This situation about to be balanced out. Three of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, we have the High Priestess. You guys know. You guys are definitely this High Priestess energy. You guys are definitely trusting your intuition. You guys definitely hold a lot of knowledge about a situation that you're not really speaking up on. And that's cool. High Priestess upright. Yeah, we got the Six of Cups in reverse. There's a lot of, like, bad memories here in regards to a situation. Yeah, we have the Lovers reverse. So, I feel like you guys also understand why you suffered. You could be have, coming to an understanding on, damn, okay, so this is why I was suffering. This is why I was going through all this shit. This this is, explains a lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This, this, this is bringing a lot of clarity here. So, you're, you're going back to all of these times where you had bad memories Constant breakups, fights, and arguments with your person. And this is why the love is reversed. Yeah, two of pentacles. Things are going to be balanced out here. Okay, two of pentacles upright. Th this person uses deception. This is someone that is a liar. They use deception. They use lies to, like, manifest. Two of pentacles upright. Please, spirit team, pass this here. Yeah, we have the nine of wands. They're definitely trying to make sure that this person stays stuck. There's some quick communication coming in, okay? With the Six of Pentacles here reverse, they don't want you guys to receive any 
thing. They don't even want this person to break from you, okay? They just want to keep causing delays, setbacks, disasters, and keep this person from healing so that they can celebrate. They probably all get together and they drink and they smoke or this person just like does something cook a big dinner and they celebrate or go out and have a drink but they celebrate every time they have this victory and creating an ending for your new beginning so this person they go off and they take a break you know because they have to this is the nine of pentacles in the reverse they're not they don't take good care of themselves so at some point this person has to take a break they get really weak this shape shift for this nine of pentacles in the reverse, this, ace, this uh, queen of swords upright energy. They get really weak. They go off and they take this break. And when they take this break, that's when they come back. And when they come back and they see this ten of cups and this nine of pentacles, they get pissed off all over again. And then they come in, they ruin it. They ruin this person's healing. And then they celebrate. But yeah, there's some quick communication coming in from this uh, energy, this karmic energy, this low vibrational energy. I feel like you guys know what's up. You guys, you see that? You see that? You got things are definitely uh, clicking together for uh, everybody else here in the situation. Things are definitely coming together. Nine of Wands upright. Yeah, we got the strength here. So this part, strength reverse. This karmic feels like as long as they have, you know, this shape shifter energy and this monitoring spirit energy as long as they do this magic be confident as long as they are in this confident energy they'll always have the upper hand of of making sure that this masculine is not healing or will not heal does not heal like i said it don't matter if y'all leave this person right now because some of you might decide you know i'm this is too much for me i'm gonna leave right now do know that you don't even have to worry like if you leave oh this person this, is, this person that they have attached to them, that's doing this to them, has been doing this for a long time. And this is somebody that is not going to stop because they want to keep this person tied to them, okay? But they like to go through this person's ego. Their, this masculine's ego is this person's way in. And once they get in and they start stroking that ego and they're in the, they're in the door, basically. The hair font reverse. Yeah, we got the Ten of Pentacles. So this is about some type of like stability. This is about um, this masculine inheritance or you guys receiving some inheritance or being married to this person. Yeah, this is some this this energy is doing magic over stability, inheritance. They want to come in with some type of quick communication, but this person is blocked. But they definitely want to come in with communication. Seven of Cups, okay. This energy definitely wants to come in with communication. Um, we have the Hermit Reverse and we have the Page of Cups Upright. This energy is someone that, like I said, they like to cloak and hide themselves with this Hermit in the Reverse. They like to cloak and hide themselves, but they're coming in with this Page of Cups energy with some type of message they want to come in with to this person. This is someone that's very immature as well, too. But um, whatever message they come in with, whatever personality they come in with, collective, they're going to be met with this masculine still holding on to you guys. And they're going to be met with this four of wands still upright, this home that you have. This is an omen, this life, this marriage, this relationship. This is something that is divinely guided, 1111. It cannot be touched. This person is going to be this king of pentacles, the provider in the relationship still, same way. Okay? This person is working on becoming the king of pentacles still, and they still are. And, the, and this plan, this plot, this new scheme, eight of pentacles reverse, it's just not going to work. It's going to leave this energy in the Queen of Cups in reverse. The same energy that they're trying to purposely put you guys in, they're going to be in at the end of the day. This plan is not working. Ace of Wands reverse, Five of Wands reverse. Yeah, this masculine has been disillusioned.
Yeah, so this person is going back to manifesting. And then right behind it, I got the Queen, Queen of Pentacles. This is someone that only cares about money. They don't even really care about this masculine. They just want the money. This person, this, they see this masculine as someone that is a, a provider, you know? So it's like, you know, I got a provider as a son. I got a provider as my third party or, or an ex that's like, hold on. I got to go back over here because they are provider. They're going to take care of people. They like to take care of people. They like to, they a hard worker. Oh no, I need that in my life. So they're going to stunt this person's growth. Three of Wands reverse. Whatever they're manifesting is not working with this Three of Wands in the reverse and the Six of Pentacles here in the reverse, guys. So you have nothing to worry about. This masculine has been disillusioned. So they're going to try to manifest off of the same things, slander, lies, and gossip. This is this person dibbles and dabbles in. Because like if you keep repeating something and saying something, eventually you can manifest it in someone's life or manifest it for yourself. But it's going to be returned to sender. And this person is going to be end up being feeling and being very frustrated. Three of Wands reverse. They could also be sexually frustrated with this, I want to feel that way again. There could be incest being involved here. In a situation, whether it's emotional or actual incest going on, it could have started off as emotional and now it's definitely full-blown incest. But with the I can't stop thinking about you, yeah, and I want to feel that way again, that's what I'm getting from that. Can I find the three of wands here reverse? We have the four of cups upright. Yeah, they want to give or receive an offer from this masculine. I feel like it's more give though, four of cups upright. We have the seven of pentacles in the reverse. This person comes in and they talk shit about you. They keep telling this masculine that you're someone that's lazy. All right, we have three of swords. Your third party is heartbroken. So this person is heartbroken at this time because they're not receiving anything from this masculine. Six of pentacles is in the reverse. Okay, they could be trying to get this person to lose a job as well. But we're going to leave it there, collective. So closing out this energy. We need a new card. We got the nine of wands in the reverse. And we have the Eight of Cups here, and we have the Queen of Cups here, and the Eight of Cups is in the reverse. So, with this Eight of Cups being in the reverse, that lets me know that this person is in this energy of where it's like, I'm going to try, 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 try again. And they've been in this energy. You know, we already know that this is someone that's stubborn. Um, right now, they're in the Queen of Cups in the reverse energy because, you know, nothing is going their way. Everything is failing, and they're also heartbroken. So, they're emotionally unstable to not only themselves, but other people right now. Um, they're unbalanced. They're un they're just very emotionally drained and unbalanced at this time. The nine of wands in the reverse. There's no communication. There's definitely no sex. So yeah, that's a, that could be another reason why this person is emotionally unbalanced because they're not getting dick or a vagina. We have the king. We have ugh, we have the emperor upright. This masculine is definitely in the energy of being in full control of themselves and. I feel like this person is also disillusioned. They also, their their mind is racing right now. They're thinking right now. Uh, the tables are turning right now. They definitely looking at a situation, at a person for who they are right now. Okay, collective, you know? Yeah. Six of Pentacles reverse with the Ace of Swords reverse. This person is not receiving anything. Like I said, this is something that's very deceptive. And this masculine is seeing somebody for who they truly are. The messages here for the, for the collective. We have I bury myself in work to forget about you. And we have I look for you everywhere. And we have we need to let each other go. So um this masculine realizes that they can't replace someone like you. They think about you a lot, I feel like, and they try to distract themselves. But they can't. They realize that they can't replace somebody like you. This energy is trying to project onto you guys, like both of you guys, that you need to let each other go. We have I love you. This person definitely loves you. We have just being near you is intoxicating. Yeah, they like being in your energy. You definitely give this person a different energy, a different vibe. I left you before you could leave me. This person definitely, um, like I said, with this ego thing that this low vibrational energy like to do 
They could have gotten to this person's head and told them, well, you don't already did all of this to them, so you might as well leave them and, and go be with somebody else. You better do it before they do it to you and, you know, you're left hurt. Or they use the past situation where this person got hurt and cheated on and they're like, oh, well, if that person is talking like that, if they moving like that, then you better, you better leave that person alone. You better go ahead and get them before they get you type energy. You know, have this person looking at you like, you know, that you were the enemy. Okay, this person wants you to know that they're becoming a better person. They are working on themselves. But like I told you, Collective, this person has to get rid of this shapeshifter energy. They have to get rid of this monitoring spirit, spirit energy. We will be together again. This person is hopeful that you guys will be together again or confident. They're starting to understand the connection and you came closer than anyone. So, like I said, guys, you're definitely in that high priestess energy, even if you're not a tarot reader, a medium, or a palm reader, or any of um, the spiritual, if you don't dibble, if you don't do any of the spiritual works, you are still someone that trusted your intuition, or is trusting their intuition, and you know exactly what's going on in this situation. You were not wrong. This person probably never said that you was wrong, never, but the, you, you were not wrong. Okay, this person wants you to know that they couldn't let you get close to them. And this is why. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. So if you are separated from this person in any way, shape, or form, they definitely want to reconcile. It's killing them. They replay, I replay our conversations over and over again. And my life is not together as it seems. Like they know, somebody knows that, you know, like I said in the beginning, they know that they have a monitoring spirit. They know that someone is low vibrational. They know that someone has different personalities. They know that someone is a shapeshifter. They know that someone has the abilities to do something, do things, but they probably are afraid of this person because they have these abilities. You know, you were the best thing in my life. They want you to know that. I remember every detail of that day. They remember when you guys met or, you know, when you guys made it official. This person will wait for a sign from you. This could also be this other energy here. Yeah, this is this other energy. They want this person to know that they're waiting around for them and that they are so attracted to them. Of course, they're waiting around for them because they know for a fact that they're always going to be there and be around to slap any healing that this person is trying to do away and um, cause constant endings in this person's life. Yeah, they want this person. They want them to know that they want them. And this person is saying, like, I feel you even though we are apart. This is somebody that's admitting to being a, a monitoring spirit. This is someone that's admitting to it. That's that's admitting to me. I hear behind material things. Yeah, they could have gotten to this mask in his head and, and said, oh, you, you, you don't got this. You need this. You need that. You need these things or this person don't have these things so you shouldn't be with them they need these things and you know they got into this person's head i lost myself for a while yeah they got into this mask in his head guys let me one more here um so many things remind me of you i know that i crossed the line with you okay so this is this person just saying like i'm thinking about you and this uh, this person is thinking about you guys realizing that they messed up a really good thing and they crossed the line just the messages for it to me Family members, yeah. Family members are definitely involved in this situation. Okay, we have Virgo. You have spiritual protection, 777. Okay, return to sender, 777. Return to sender, 777. Something about a one-night stand, okay? Pisces. Something about two, trying to please two people or keep two people. Somebody could be 33 years old. And the letter K is significant. We have karmic. Yeah. Yeah, these people are karmic. This person is karmic. Okay, they could be saying that you lied about a pregnancy if you are pregnant and sexual attraction. Something significant about sexual attraction. The letter Z is significant, first, middle, or last initial. Something about a DNA test, the letter S is significant, first, middle, or last initial. The number seven or July is significant. Taurus is here. Sex addiction and control. Someone could definitely have a sex addiction because they have a daddy, 
attached to them. That's something else that these karmics attach to this masculine. So this person feels like they can't control themselves, even though they are as of right now in this emperor energy where they are in control of themselves and everything around them. They are trying to maintain this energy, but we already know, you know, we know what we know. D is significant, first, middle, or last. You're the father and twin flames and also incarcerated is here. So you guys could be going down a twin flame journey with this person. Somebody in this energy could definitely be in their 30s, 33 to 38. Okay. There's spiritual protection here. And Aries is involved, not the father, Art Angels, and Cancer. So there could be like an a Aries, Taurus, a Virgo, um, a Pisces that's really trying to convince this person that they're not the father of your child. 40, C, first, middle, or last, and loyalty is here. What else is here? Hold on. There's like a group here. These people are narcissistic. 11, 11, divinely guided, no loyalty, and 8. They don't even have any loyalty towards each other, okay? Something about 6, Sagittarius, respect. So they need respect the Sagittarius. If this is happening to a Sagittarius, just know these people need to have some respect, okay? Aquarius is involved in a divine masculine. And at the bottom of the deck, I have divine feminine, all right? So that was the messages, guys. Make sure to hit me up for a reading if you're interested. Please like, comment, subscribe. Please like the video. And thank you all so much for taking the time out to even tune in on today's reading. And make sure you guys go with love and light. Until next time, bye-bye.